Well, everybody, um, today it's great to welcome Minty from Cramer. I think you're just known as Minty from Cramer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to uh, Grassman HQ. And uh, I suppose, Minty, we've been chatting at all the shows over the last few years. And last year, Adrian, who sort of looks after Ireland, had his uh, KT407 out and he talked us around it. But um, they said they had to bring in the big guns to do the talking around the right. big machine. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy, I'm going to be straight up with you. This is a, a big crammer. You're going to have to start us from the start. What is the KL55.8? Okay. Uh, the KL, that's the crammer loader. The 55 is the uh, tipping load of the machine. So in Germany, they like to know the tipping load, which is 5.5 uh, tonnes. And the 8 is the 8 series. T is obviously telescopic. The, the KL 55.8T is quite a unique machine in its size. In fact, it is four-wheel steering. It's not an articulated machine, so it could be more compact and more versatile, more stability with the four-wheel steering than with the pivot steering machine. Uh, it lifts uh, approximately 3.9 tonne in all steering angles. That's the important thing. A pivot steer may lift 3.9 tonne in a straight line, but when you turn, <laughs> it wants to calp. <laughs> So that's our main advantage with our four-wheel steering. We've got stability in all steering angles. But you do look at it now whenever the wheels are straight and you first come upon it and think, this is, a, <laughs> this is an when, articulated Whenever loader. we do a, an exhibition, whether it's a small Kramer or a big Kramer, we always turn the wheels because otherwise people think it's a, an articulated machine. But this is 100% four-wheel steering. Two-wheel steer for the road work. And crab steer as well. Yeah, we found stuff. the crab steer last night. <laughs> <laughs> the crab steer is quite interesting. But uh, uh, for the work on the side of the silage clamp, the machine also 100% uh, diff lock in both axles. And we have a safety system uh, for activating the diff lock. You can't just press the button. You press the brake pedal first, then press the diff lock button. And there's a, where, where's the diff lock button then? On the back of the joystick. Oh. We have access to the cab, uh, good access. Nice wide entry door. Good big cab, you yeah. know, from the from the outside looking if, in. If it wasn't for social distancing, we'll show you how good the cab was and me and Donkey were both sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of room. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice comfy cab, uh, air seat, and you can adjust the joystick to the seat uh, as well to make it more comfortable for you. I can spy something that you don't see in many uh, loaders that's maybe sitting on a farm. I know some of the bigger loaders and quarries are some of the big contractor yep. machines and you've just put your hand on it. It's uh, The auto loop system is an option on all Kramer machines yeah. uh, but uh, on this machine we, it's our demonstrate machine so we've brought it in fairly highly spec'd up but we are getting more and more people asking for that now. Coming on to the telescopic the, the, the boom I, I just think that's a very strong it's a very strong, strongly built boom. Uh, we, it's based on uh, our other telescopic wheel loaders, but obviously it's a lot bigger because it's a lot stronger, heavier machine. And uh, we've utilised the same chassis for a normal loader. So we haven't got a, a chassis especially for this machine and the one for the normal loader. It's the same chassis, just with different uh, fixing points. And we have a low boom, so you've got good visibility yeah. over the top of the boom to your uh, attachments. And you can see uh, here on the boom, we have yeah. the doubler plate. And obviously, if you imagine the boom's fully out, that's its weakest point because it's trying to, to pivot. So we've got all places very good strength in, in the boom. The two rams at the side, they're our uh, compensating cylinders, our main lift ram, and then we have the tilt ram inside. But there, you know, it's actually it's you know serviceability as well. You know, there's everything there is easy access from what I can see. Uh, talk about serviceability. We have our uh, auto loop system, but behind there, we have a bank of test gauges. I seen them test all points. right. Yeah. But so if you do have any issues with the machine, it's very easy for the engineer to connect his hose, and you can check the pressures without crawling around, taking pipes off and putting pipes on. It's very. It makes life a lot easier for the. Engineer. And you have this one on a Euro 2, you know, this is this is a sure sign that you're you're doing big things. You have a Euro 2 headstock on yep. it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's standard on the 
the 60.8 or 55.8 machines. It's a standard uh, feature. We will later uh, on, maybe towards the end of the year, offer it with a pin and cone and uh, the Kramer headstock what we use on the big telescopic handlers. So if a guy has a, a big Kramer telescopic handler, he can also use the same attachments for this machine. Yes. But at the moment in time, that's our standard fitting. What's the green button for? A very good question. Green button is our depressurizing button. So it takes all the pressure if, if, off If you your... have a grab on, uh, you can release the pressure. With the engine running, a lot of people make the mistake of going, things have done it. The best thing is one, two, three because then it takes the pressure out of all the pipes back to the cab. If you do it quickly, you see the pipes relax, but you've still got pressure in the system. So you can see this is uh, the, the Volvo hitch. We have a red marker, which you can see from the cab, which indicates the pins are unlocked. We also have a warning light on the dashboard in the cab as well. So when the pins are unlocked, the warning light is on. And it's uh, Z bar linkage there? Yes. Or Z yeah. kinematics, as yeah. the, the, the yeah, Z, yeah, yeah. <laughs> as they as they talk about. Yeah, <clears throat> if you look at this machine, engine, hydraulics, and transmission is the same as we're using the big telehandlers, the telescopic machines, the five and a half ton machines. The other, the main difference is the axles. We use a different axle, a heavier axle, in this machine because it's a, a loading shovel and it's got more, more, more power. Another feature on the machine, which uh, we can show you from the cabin. Because it's a telescopic machine, and to shake the bucket can be a little bit... Ha ha, ha ha ha, this one worked out. <laughs> uh, so, so on the machine, we've now fitted a bucket shake system, and I can show you how that works yeah. from inside it the cabin. It gives you a good shake. It does. With that bucket on, you can't sit in the seat. It, it's properly. <laughs> it, would, it would literally nearly bring you yeah, out of the seat. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it works very well. You can see we fit uh, a scraper to the boom to stop corn, soil, grass, anything going up inside the boom, causing problem. Wear pads adjustable from the outside. This valve here uh, is our check valve for the mm -hmm. uh, lift cylinder. It's a telescopic machine, so it has to have a check valve. But it also, uh, when we operate the smooth ride, or uh, our load stabiliser system, it then does away with that while it's working. You can see we're on the uh, Craro axles, inboard brakes, and uh, as soon as you jump off the seat, within two or three seconds, the handbrake is applied automatically. Our diesel tank, our blue tank, again, we have access. I think it's all be locked. I know, it's open. So you've got access to both sides if, if required. Most people always use the left-hand door, but it is there. But it's there. It is there if you yeah. need it. You can't come out that side and... <laughs> No. <laughs> and a <laughs> no, that's right. And, and a smaller. And, and uh, here we have uh, all our fuses and serviceable items that the operator can, can check himself. The steps. The steps are removable. You can take them off. And they're oh, sitting there. Able to get up on to, yeah. But then if you want to go and check the uh, water, water or oil. So you this know. is the uh, business side of the machine. This is the, the business end of the machine. It's the Deutz 4.1 litre engine, 156 horsepower. The machine is also available with the Deutz 3.6 engine at 166 horsepower, uh, 136 horsepower. Yes. Not 66. That's right. So it's either 136 or the bigger ones, the 150. Yeah. yeah. Six. Is it 156? 156. 156. One big advantage of uh, uh, the Kramer machine, our uh, radiator, oil cooler, uh, uh, intercooler and oil cooler, we have no big stacks of radiators on any of the machines. So we have good airflow through. Okay, we have the uh, air conditioning, but normally yeah, you have a good good access through. This is all on hinges, so it falls down yep. and clean. The machine has a reversible fan. It uh, does find that button yeah, as well. Standard, yep. mm -hmm. and uh, the, the advantage of our system is you don't have to stop the machine, you don't have to do anything, just press the button and keep working. Is uh, she a heavy machine? That's one uh, question. It's, it, it's class in the, we call it in the nine ton loader class. 
Uh -huh. but it can range between nine ton and eleven ton, depending on the uh, what options. Weight and application. Weight so, application. so there's a bit of weight behind it for yes. for pushing. Yeah, I can. It can. Uh, the, the biggest thing when somebody jumps on one of these, if they're used to a torque converter machine, is getting used to the hydrostatic. Mm -hmm. You don't need to go on full power, just let the machine uh, go to work, and then as you climb, then slowly give it full power. If you go with full power at the beginning, it'll just spin the wheels. Let it, let it coax it into to go, and you have no, no problem. All, all machines we sell now, uh, if the customer uh, wants extended warranty, he has to have telematics. So uh, from that, the uh, camera can see the diesel consumption, they can see error codes on the system, they can see where the machine is. It's very good for not so much in the UK, but in Germany, a lot in higher fleets. So they can hire companies can see where the machines are working. If, if you've got it on hire for five days, but using it for Saturday and Sunday, they can see that and charge you for Saturday and Sunday. Well, very good. Well, look, Manly, thank you in the meantime. I think you're, we're going to get a couple of cameras inside and yep. you're going to maybe just give us a wee chat around some yep. of the Been a pleasure. internal features. Okay, so now we're in the cabin of the KL 55.8T. A nice spacious cabin. Steering wheel adjustable, telescopic. You can see the switches, uh, colour coded, green for hydraulic, grey for electric and red for safety. Ignition, very easy access. Start the machine. And then to operate, simply press the brake pedal fully down, engage forwards, release the brake, and the machine will move. On the joystick, we have the orange switch for forward, reverse. Snail, turtle and hare, three speed transmission, the telescopic boom, retraction and extend and behind the joystick we have another switch for operating of the quick change or the grab. The switches here we have this one here is for the constant pumping so we have constant hydraulic flow to the front and this can be controlled or programmed with the F3 menu Turn the uh, ignition on and you can see from the uh, dashboard if I press F3 now you can see we have we can choose the oil flow as we want to the third service for operating a sweeping brush or some other other feature. F2 you can see there we have uh, the two, two symbols that tells us we have two speeds for our joystick it's in two at the moment or we can put it into one, which here we have a slower a lifting and crowding function of them changed. I start the machine up. I we'll turn the steering. The machine needs to be checked that it's in forward steering. It's a realigned steering automatically. Our steering mode switch. We have two wheel steer, forward steer, and crab steer. Simply push the switch down, turn it into whichever mode you want. And now we can now steer only on the front axle. The machine is in full steering lock. Put it back into two wheels, uh, four wheels there, turn the steering, and it will automatically pick up the steering as on when. Grab steer, again, same, just turn the steering, and it will automatically find the crab steer position. Uh, if we engage the diff lock, we need to press the, uh, the button behind the joystick and engage the brake at the same time and then the diff lock button uh, light will come on. So we'll just go a little little drive so you can see how uh, so now we have uh, into reverse we have uh, a reverse camera which uh, you can see nicely you can see very easy to drive your left foot basically does nothing We're only in number one on the, the joysticks, it's very, very slow and precise. You're doing a lot of pallet work, very easy. So you can see, I don't know if you can see from the outside how maneuverable the machine is. But you can see it's, uh, it's very easy to, uh, to operate. 
And now we can go into the crab stay mode. the bucket up and see how easy it is to see how easy it is to collect the bucket. So now we've picked the bucket up, now push the pins out. So the bucket is now fully engaged. We'll just change the speed of the hydraulics so a little bit slow. We'll just move away from the shed a little bit. Not to knock Mr. Hayes's uh, shed down. So now you can see we're in uh, bucket mode, so simply push the lever forward and as the boom lowers the boom retracts at the same time. To operate the bucket shake system press the um, return to dig button and the diff lock together and now you can see the bucket shake facility. But we can also use the crowd and tilt function at the same time. So that is basically a little overview of the inside of the cabin of the KL 55.8T. It is the same for the standard loader, the 60.8 uh, and the 60.8 long arm. In fact, the only thing is you don't have the telescopic option. So that's everything. So thank you. Yeah, well, from uh, Kramer's side, we'd like to thank Grassman for giving us the opportunity to, to uh, show you the machine.